guys, it's Amy at Hello Thrifty. We had an impromptu sourcing night tonight. Um, we did not mean to go sourcing, but man, did we. And when I say we, Dave is with me today, and he's going to be in the video. Hi. Hello, hello. New star. And, and we have here his purchases. My small little pile. And, and, and I bought a few things. I put some things up. She did, like... Seven items. Maybe. Twelve, thirteen. Seven. Come on. <laughs> anyway. I think it was a pile about yay tall in the basket, and yeah, we were checking out at eight o'clock and uh, at eight oh five, and they closed at eight, but they were very kind. So anyway, we uh, and I'll, I'll we thought we'd stay one until nine. Yeah, so. I asked the lady, "When do y'all close?" Nine. She's like, "Oh, eight. I'm like, "It's eight oh five. She's like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but. Anyway, um, I'll put in some footage after this of us at the thrift store, and it's kind of, it might be crooked, I don't know, because I took it this way. And I didn't take any videos, so. I'm at a Goodwill that I don't come to very often, but they always have the best brands and shoes here. Not like I usually get places that I can go, but just first look here, I've got these like comfort sandals. Looks like they go for a good little bit. I got Fry. Just started looking. I'm already seeing Tahari, Kohan, um, and this is just a first glance. So let's see what else I end up with. I really like these White House Black Market shoes, but they're asking $8 for them. I don't think there's enough in those. And these Donald J. Pliners be something I would pick up for a couple of dollars. Seven, maybe not. Um, I really like these Ralph Lauren ones. Um, I'm not sure about those. Hubby really wants me to get these at Cole Haan. He gets excited about Cole Haan, but I tell him they don't really, don't really do for me. I mean, they're fine. I would pay a couple of dollars for them, but not nine. So y'all tell me uh, if I made the right call, if I should have listened to him. These are very interesting, but this is not English. And I can't really find anything on them. They're real clean on the bottom. I don't know. Here's some Ferragamos. Um, they haven't been moving for me very well lately. And this one is a little scuffed on the toe there. It's not bad. But, um, I don't know. And also, you know, they're narrow. So I think I'm going to leave those behind. But tempting. Here's some Munros. I know they're ridiculously expensive, brand new. Um, I've sold a few pair, but in brand new condition. And uh, a lot of times end up sitting on them. Those could be cleaned up and made to look pretty nice, but I guess I'll pass. I've already got quite a bit that I need to go through here. I got really excited about these Jack Rogers for six bucks, but they're broken. Is a Tiananye still a thing? Cause they're two pair, they're cute. Seven dollars a piece though. Oh, lucky brand. Go look at those. Still got a lot more to go. I have a love-hate relationship with Chico's. I sit on so much of it. This is a Traveler's, but it's a zero, so it's a small. Usually the Traveler's sells, but I don't know if I want to pay five dollars for it. And Soma, I used to never pass on Soma, but definitely at five dollars I'm going to pass on that. Got a cart full of stuff I need to go through. Um, got Eileen Fisher here, equipment. Husband picked up some um, silver cloths, got a Lucky Brand. Um, Kimono. I'll have to come back and haul this stuff. There's no way to show y'all, but I'm gonna have to go through and pick and choose because I'm not gonna get all this stuff. I would so buy this shirt. It's really cute, but there's no size and no brand. Oh man, but it's cute. If it were just a dollar or so, I'd go for it anyway, or if it were my size. I really like this We the Free. We're leaving it behind because there's a little stain, and I just stink at treating stains. It's on white. I could probably bleach it, but I know that I won't. And I'm passing up this vintage dress. It's real boho. Oh, God, it's real hard to pass it up. It's got an ink mark on it right here. Um, and my cart was getting pretty full, so pass that up. And then at this vintage two-piece set, I 
like the way the arms are cut. It's got kind of a boho style. It's got um, culottes and it's a larger size. What do y'all think about that? Um, you know, I could always come back. I don't think anybody's gonna buy it, but it was eight bucks, so pass that up. But I have a pretty full cart here and I didn't even really come to Source. We just came on date night because we were kid free and we had, you know, not a whole lot to do here, so. We'll show you a little bit when somebody's, when Dave gets back to maybe well, video me. Anyway, when we first walked in through the store, we saw this. It is a Kleenex box holder. But the awesome thing about it is the face. And you pull the tissues through the nose. I, I mean, that is just awesome. And so, soon as uh, I saw this, I didn't care how much it was, we were buying it because it's just that awesome. So. <laughs> Uh, that somebody was, wants that. Yeah, somebody definitely wants that. And I'm really looking forward to photographing. <laughs> yeah, because that's just going to be kind of fun. <laughs> and so, you know, that, that starts out the night. So you surely, you know, this is going to be a great night if this is the first thing we see as soon as you walk through the door, like on their display shelf. So. Definitely one of the more unique items that I've sold. I've sold some very unique items. So. Yeah. Still awesome. Pull, pull it through the nose. Yes. It's just awesome. Anyway, so we'll set that up there. So, um... Are you going to show all of yours, or shall um, we take turns? Maybe one for maybe you, you and should, two for Maybe me. I should show your your stuff, and you should show mine. Okay. But I might have stories about mine. You, okay, you show, <laughs> you show you You tell them what you think about it, and then I'll, okay. I'll see what's special about it. Okay? Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> first we have, and this is a guy showing you about girls' clothing, because I know so much about girls' clothing. Um... We have a blue shirt, uh, cut off tank top, I guess. It's got pretty ruffles um, on it. Pretty ruffles. Let's see, what is it? It's a lilac. What is it? I don't know. Lilka. 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 Yeah, and a really great thing about Lilka. this Lilka. It's a very exciting. Lilka, thing. I got a shirt. Look, see this. <laughs> see this little number right here. Look at look at the number. Six six one seven zero. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> that means that this item is from Anthropology, which is a very popular store. People like it. People buy their stuff. So. All right. Looks pretty. All right. Now, your turn. Okay. Dave found something from Disney Parks. We love Disney Parks stuff. I did good there. Stuff. Mainly, and I got it because... It's blingy. It's blingy, but I like skulls, and you got to check out the back. Yes. Isn't that awesome? It, now, who is this? Uh, I can't remember. It's the... Uh, it's Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington. Is it from the Nightmare on... Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Yeah. So, I don't know that I'm going to be able to sell this right now, but it's going to be you really good guy. when the season comes back around. And it looks like really good shape. Uh-huh. Oh, it's fantastic. It's awesome. It's kind of moto style. So, as far as women's apparel go, this was my find because... Yeah, I was going through the women's jackets, and because I do not look at women's clothing that much at all. Uh, but that just looks really cool. Congratulations. So, so yay, yay me. So, all right. All right, what else do I have? Okay, well, let's see. I'm going to stash the stuff that we've already done over here. Uh, let's see here. We have, is it Maeve? Mm-hmm. Maeve. Mm-hmm. Maeve. Uh, another kind of transparent, see-through looking blouse. Yes, and it's also uh, from Anthropology. Is there a number? <laughs> it's the same number. Uh, well, how, you don't have to look at the number on everything. So what's the deal with the numbers anyway? Well, it, it's just how you know that it, a 66170? brand... 66170? Uh-huh. If, if a brand is from Anthropology, it will have that RN number. Or it might be Free People, or it might be Urban Outfit. So how many brand names does Anthropology have? Probably 50. I mean, a lot. But that really, is too many names <laughs> to remember. But really, there are kind of a basic 10 that you see most often. All right, Maeve mm -hmm. and Lika. 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 Mm -hmm. Look at the shirts. Okay. Uh, all right, next thing. Okay. One of mine. One of mine. Dave Check got out. a Fievel. Fievel. Ever watch the show? What was it, when did it come out? The nineties, maybe? I don't know. It was the early nineties. Early nineties. Fievel goes west. Mm -hmm. uh, American uh, Tale. Yeah, American Tale. And so you, I don't know. See, the, it says right there Fievel, and says the American Tale, and it, it's kind of. That's vintage. You can tell it's vintage. Um, yeah, let's see. There's a date on there. Um, 
1986. So older than we thought. Mm -hmm. I was five. Wow. Yeah. 1986. I was 10. So vintage. In pretty good shape. Like, I mean, the uh, this eye has like a little bit of a mark maybe on the eyeball there. But for the most part, uh, don't really see any. Really you looked him stains. up, right? He sold before? Yeah, uh, there was multiples uh, that where he had sold, and I think he had sold for about, um, about 25 maybe. Cool. Uh, so. I like a good plush. So anyway, yeah, a little plush, so cool. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, yes. This is a Judith March dress. Doesn't it look nice on me? It's my like color. Apron. Oh. Mm -hmm. Does that look better? Sure. Anyway, uh, we saw this behind the counter on a mannequin, which one of the ladies called a dummy, and that was very just rude. So, uh, no. Uh, but they were the sweetest were people checking people. us out after hours. Yeah, the, the other, the checker, the, the guy checking us out, uh, the lady helping her called it a dummy, and he goes, Don't call it a dummy. You're hurting its feelings. It's a beautiful mannequin. Uh, so anyway, uh, yes. Yeah, so we got a Janet or Judith, Judith March dress, and I think the tag on it was like thirteen dollars is what they wanted. But when it rung up, it rung up for six dollars. I do remember that. Mm -hmm. I know nothing about it. I just know that that's the name of it, and apparently that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think it's. I'm gonna get forty bucks out of it. So it is a cool looking dress. Mm -hmm. Great. Perfect time to list it too. Okay. Um, in our house, we call this a me. Or a binky. Or, or a binky. Or... It's a lovey. A lovey. A lovey yeah. is what I would put an eBay listing. This one actually makes noise. Yeah. Um, it still has a little clip tag, so it looks like it's new. I got it because I just really need something to snuggle up to late at night tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I got you. Yes, this <laughs> is true. These guys sell for about 15 bucks almost every time I pick them up because kids lose them. And they need the exact same one back. Nothing yes. else will do. My child is testimony of that. They'll scream their heads off and like forever because yeah, it's it's terrible. Um, My son. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I just because I think this is cool, but uh, look at this. Look at this belt. It has a swordfish across the the front of it. Looks really nice and really good shape. It's leather on the back. Point. Ne oh, needle point. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it is needle point. It's in good shape. It was $1.99. Nice leather on the back. Looks brand new. Uh, Smathers in Branson. Hand stitch needlepoint. Um, don't have a clue about it, but she looked it up, and apparently they sell for $60 to $100 bucks for a lot of their belts. I didn't see one exactly like this. I did see one exactly like this. Oh, you did? For $75, but it's brand new. $75. Mm -hmm. This is almost brand new. Yeah, it's in really good shape. $55. Yeah, I think so. so. I think cool. so. That's a $1.99 well spent. You. Okay, me. Hi. This is his doing. Haven't opened it up yet. Okay. Don't have a clue. Let's find out how many there are. Let's do it. Because he said, all he said was, I don't want to mess up the felt on your pool table. This is probably the most we've um. used your pool table together. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's see here. <laughs> um, let's go through the store, and I came across this little bin, and I... I saw that it said silver, uh, over here it said silver cloth, and I saw it as a tray to kind of hold silver, so I was thinking that maybe there was silverware in it, and, uh, and so I kind of felt in it, and there was no silver at all in it, um, so I almost left it, because they were wanting $8 for it, and uh, then I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to look up, um, I'm going to look up these little bags. And like I said, this whole thing was eight dollars. Um, and when I started looking, at it, it's called a Pacific Silver Cloth. Uh, it prevents tarnishing. And so um, anyway, I looked it up, and they sell for like eight dollars a piece, like individually, Plus shipping. like like multiple. Now is that for your silverware? Yeah, you oh, put your okay. put like your yeah and knife you spoons roll it. and you roll it up and Hi. yeah. And so anyway. I don't know how many we have. We're fixing to count those out, but this might be a complete set. Um, well, this little tray, like a leather tray, that's yeah. Nice. And there might be some different brands in here because this is Lynch, Lynchker. I think it's a polishing cloth. Uh, jewelry. 
Okay. We'll but that's a, that's a different silver cloth. It's not the same brand. Probably a lot of those. Uh, all but yeah, it's a, it's a different brand. There's two of those. Okay, but that's still the. Um, there's still slots in there. Yeah, there's slots so in them. That's not a polishing cloth. Um, this is more the Pacific. Mm -hmm. So there's three. There's another four. Uh, now, th yeah, now this is. It's it Pacific, is like but it says. Michael's. Michael's large quantity jewelers. Okay. Um, but still, so. Uh, All right, our video cut out just for a second, so there's a little pause here. Um, we were showing you these different Pacific bags. The last thing was the tray, and the tray is also hold your silverware, and you can kind of cover it all up. And uh, I don't know how much that's going to be There's worth. Probably plenty of value uh, in that. It's it's a little worn, but uh, I don't know what value. But like I said, these things right here we're selling uh, quite often, pretty regular for eight bucks a piece. We got nine of those, uh, and we paid eight bucks for the whole mess. Sweet. So, uh, so anyway, I think that was kind of a good time. Hold on just a sec. Yes. Got this cool hat. No, it wasn't one of my finds. Got to put my other cool hat. You know what? This came from a thrift store as well. I loved it. I've had it, had it for like two years. Um, Disney? No, not Disney. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie, Winnie the Pooh, Pooh hat. Disney. Yeah, it is Disney. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. A straw hat. Straw hat. Looks like great condition. So. Embroidered. Yeah. Awesome. I have no, no idea what that's gonna go for. I, I can show that hat. That. Okay. A um, comic book. Yes. Uh, I thought it was a Superman or like Wonder Woman hat or something until I looked it up. And apparently it is Steven Universe and is on, I guess, Cartoon Network. Um, but anyway, it's in like brand new condition and it's worth like 25 bucks. So. $1.99. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Okay. This... Very, uh, was it a uh, pa paisley? Paisley, paisley. Yes. yes, paisley. And yellow uh, is one of the colors that's popular. Yellow and coral. Will be and this is spring. McAfee. And apparently, this is Madewell. No. I don't know. You said it, something about Madewell. I thought it was. I bought about this. something from Madewell, but I just I looked it up, and it looks like these things are going for McAfee. Yeah. That's McAfee. Quite a name. And uh, so anyway, yeah, McAfee. Hoodie. It looks pretty cool. All right. And then the next shirt, I found this shirt a little while ago. Let's see, this is um, Burberry's. And so apparently, I guess this is more of the vintage or maybe an older one because now it's just Burberry. But it's Burberry's London, made in USA. Um, men's shirt, good size, large. Uh, looks like it's in great shape. Kind of a plaid. Uh, tan color, different little stripes in it, so pretty cool. And then the other shirt that I found that I really liked is more of a um, uh, flannel, maybe you'd say, plaid flannel, thick. It's a Patagonia, so I thought that was a really good find. Uh, Patagonia, and it's a men's large. And so let's see what that kind of looks like. Looking pretty good. I'm back. We're back and forth here. This is our first like mega haul, you know, and we're just having to figure it out. But I had to get a seat. This light that he got because he's all techie is, was blinding me and making me. It think. was pretty bright. So. <laughs> we turned it down. Maybe I don't know. It was making her sick just because of how bright the light was. I think so. Anyway, we got her a stool. And she was yes, yes. So man, I feel like a little weakling. But anyway, um, this. The cashier guy had a real hard time figuring out what it even was. And he I said know. it's a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how. Oh, okay. Here we go. It's like a vest, and it's got a big ruffle across the back. And this is going to have to go on the mannequin because, I mean, there we go. But this, okay, I saw this little yellow bird, and that might be the name brand. I remember I've seen folks on YouTube buy it before. And I have to make sure that it's called Little Yellow Bird. Little Yellow Bird. See, there's a name down here. No, it just says medium. Oh, medium. Yeah. But this. The also, brand is medium. No, I'm just kidding. It's anthropology. 
So that yeah. won't be hard to Does find. Does it have a number as well? Yes, oh. the same number. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we have a Catherine's size 5X hey. denim jacket. Hey, well, you know I found that one. Yeah, you came across this one first. This is true. We were, he was coming this direction and I was coming this direction and right before I we found it, but you pulled it out. Yes. You get credit. <laughs> Cause I was looking at the big poop yes. circles. But anyway, you know, it's rare to come across a women's size 5X and Catherine's is good quality. And I think this will sell on eBay. Oh, it has multiple hooks. So mm -hmm. I guess you can hook it all the way down. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. Spiffy. And then on that same note, another, and I like this one better. It's more trendy. Dave Catherine's. And it has studs. 5X. It's bejeweled. Denim jacket. So I think that's going to awesome. be. Awesome. Yeah. And this being springtime, people wear that. That's kind of the thing people wear. Oh, yeah. Right Light like has a good, it's nice and kind of. Almost an back. ombre thing going on. Yeah. It's cool. Mm hmm. And it's in great shape. Mm hmm. Yeah. Goodbye. This one's fun. Yes. We're having fun with like all the cartoon character stuff. Yes. Matter of fact, this week, because earlier this week, I got some stuff from, well, it's Disney World. Yeah. So I got a goofy hat and a plush, a uh, bandy plush. Yeah, right? yeah. So anyway. Now this one, I'm going to have to sweater shave this a little bit, a little fuzzy, but I really think that's going to do the trick and it's going to look good as new. Yep. And so, sweetie, and that's embroidered. Tweety Bird, and it's from the Warner Brothers store, which is not open anymore. Ah, yes, Warner Brothers store. Vintage, 90s, overalls. How many awesome keywords and is that? And the back that? of it says Tweety. What size is it? That's what I was trying to figure out. Large. Uh, a bigger size, too. It's got everything going for it. I could wear that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bum equipment, blue jean overall shorts. They don't look like they were ever worn, really. I know. But I looked those up. It looks like they do sell. Huh, and I cool. actually got two of those. Two sets? The same kind? They're awful similar. Bit different. But yeah. This one has this little netting kind of yeah. something. And they, But they both have the bum equipment. I remember that brand from my middle school days. Um, so I think that'll be, that'll be real good. Cool. All right. What else? Um, this is a plus size embroidered knee width pad. Now it's just from Target, but it's Ava really and Ava and Viv. Oh, Ava and Viv. It's really on trend with this embroidery. Two X. Mm hmm It's got a ruffle. It's got embroidery. Um, it's the right season. It's new with tags. It has a lot going for it, even though it's just from Target. And they didn't most of their shirts. Are four forty nine for short sleeve shirts, and for some reason they had put a special sticker on this that it was only two ninety nine. Most of their special stickers are for more, so. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's any kind of blemishes or anything. Yep. That looks good. Cool. This is so cute. Not even really like cats. <laughs> I do not like cats at all. This is, now, disclaimer, I'm, I'm highly allergic to cats. Nothing against cat people. I just don't like cats. We have two cats. I like dogs, out at our but house. we don't have dogs either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we do have two cats that hang out, actually maybe three cats that hang out at our house. They just, that's still, she's allergic to cats. I don't really care for them, but at the same time, I don't mind them hanging around the house. They chase the, the you know, mice Gross. and stuff out of the sheds and, and all that kind of stuff, but they just hang out. They like us, they say hi, and they go their own way. Yeah. yeah. How about that for a tangent? Every, yeah, we're tangent. chasing. Every yeah. once in a while, they bring moles that they've killed and as offered, gifts offered offerings. as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, this is mod cloth. Mod cloth. Yeah. Don't that, have a clue. It's it's just it's good. It's a website. People like it. It's trendy. It's modern. It's hip. It's now, and it's because cats are hip. It's cat print. I love it. Somebody is gonna. Love I guess it. between cats and dogs, cats would be hip. Dogs would be redneck, so, I mean, right? Cats are more sophisticated. This is so true. So they're hip. Dogs are more like, let's go hunting. So they're redneck, right? Works for me, right? <laughs> okay. Do you think this is anything special? It's a pashmina? Oh, no. I don't know what a pashmina is either. I just heard the name. 
It's a Eileen Fisher. Now I've heard that name before. You have mentioned that, and I think gone crazy when you come across a Eileen Fisher. Well, I would have gone crazy maybe a year ago. It's kind of now, sp- yeah. Kind of sinking. Cool. Uh, sheer. So what is it like? A, so it's sheer. What's it called? Just, just an open knit. Um, it's just an Eileen Fisher open front cardigan. Cardigan. It's a small size, which you know, because it's typically for more mature ladies who would like it. You don't get as many extra small sales. And I would have gone crazy about this, but I still can sell them, and they still sell for decent money. But used to, man, this thing would have brought me 50 bucks. You know, it kind of, if you look at the edge and the netting of it, it almost makes you feel like you're going to go fishing. Fishing net. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like I said, I don't know about women's clothes. <laughs> Make You're it, very I, resourceful. I can make it use uh, Lisa humorous. Thing. Yes, or or you know, if you needed a fishing net and you didn't have one, then you you had one then. And the cats can come along and help. <laughs> I like fish. This is a really good brand, and it, like I don't really know right now if it's as good as it used to be, but I think I think it'll still be good. It's equipment, and, and they sell it at Nordstrom, okay. which is a high end department store, and it's. Got stripes. Something's called equipment. You think it had a tool belt? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I'm bumming a little bit about this, but I think it's okay. Um, It's a Lucky Brand open front. Hey, I know Lucky Brand. Yeah, but I didn't see this big old sticker that says "as is," and it's got a little hole. But you know what? I would still wear this. Yeah, I don't think anybody will notice I that. I mean, most people are going to wear you know, a black shirt underneath it. I, could... I bet you that a little hole is almost probably from a tag that they had in it at one time and probably somebody mm-hmm. yanked it out. Um, but I really, really like this. Well, man, can I wear that? What's that? Is that... Is this... Oh, no, it's small. No, no. But um, I th- you can even patch it underneath. Like one of those little iron-on patches. So I'll have to disclose whatever I do. But Yeah, but it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, it's not that bad of a hole. If I had seen it, I might not have picked it up, but I might have still been tempted to get it. So. We'll leave that sticker on there. That way you know where the hole's at. This is a J. Crew. I do know J. Crew. J. Crew. Matter of fact, I found a J. Crew shirt, but then we decided not to get it because it wasn't as cool. Men's J. Crew, that is. Yeah, but look at that print. That is pretty. It's funky. Barely colorful. Like retro. It's tiny. It is very tiny. What size is that? I'm gonna guess extra small. Zero. Size zero. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But anyway, it's pretty. It's not from the factory, so that's good. All right. Flying Tomato. It's a boutique brand. It's not a big deal. Let me come up with these names. I know, right? But Flying Tomato. It's very now. Like it's a cardigan. It's open front, but it's kind of more the kimono look. Um, it's kind of more fall colors, but. I really, really like it. I would not buy this brand all the time, especially at the four dollars they were asking for it. But yeah, now if it was a flying watermelon, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you crack yourself. I up. did. <laughs> okay. As you can tell, she has a lot more stuff than I had, like a ton. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But the, there's a lot more women's clothes. He went through the guy stuff. I didn't even look at the guy stuff. Yeah, there's like three racks of guys' clothes to the 20. And last time I went with you, you were pulling stuff out, and I was like, no, no, no. Hey, at least some of mine actually made it into the basket this time. (laughs) Rock on. Hold that up high, tall man. There we go. Okay, um, that is a pretty little sundress. Yeah, that would be a great flapper dress, right? Good dancing. Um, Liberty of London. For Target, if it was Liberty of London, the the brand by itself, it would be worth a whole lot. But I did look this exact dress up, and it sells for over twenty dollars. Cool. And yeah. it's in great condition. It's pretty. Yeah. And and it sold for twenty dollars even recently, and it's not even spring yet. So. I kind of like it. It's just kind of fun to play with. All right. <laughs> Let's not make the video too long. Yeah. Yes. I hey, Madewell. This is what I thought the other one might have been. Does Madewell make like other name brands like Anthropology? Okay, Madewell is a brand that is under the same umbrella with is it J Crew? I think. Do they have a number? 
<laughs> no, they don't have a number that I know of. Um, but they're a sister company to, an, I think, J. Crew. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, this is Madewell. It is a small. Mm -hmm. And looks nice, sweater. Yeah, I saw that. I, I was in the checkout line. And you know how when you're in the checkout line and it's long and like there's still, you, you just kind of look at whatever you're standing by. It's like, well, there you go. Got to get that. It's in great shape, too. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have here a Williams and Sonoma hand care kit. And it's all brand new products. And it's a winter forest scent. I looked up one of these things. Now, it looks like the original price was $25. But don't let that deter you sometimes. Because a lot of times, you're going to get more than the original price on. Especially when they don't make it anymore. Yeah, exactly. So, this might be a scent that is not available. So, I looked up just a, this one thing here will sell for more than a, quite a bit more than I paid for it. And then I have two more things. And I have to decide if I'm going to sell it as a kit or if it's more profitable to split them up and sell one at a time. She loves this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. If we could find this stuff, she would rack up with buying just different stuff like this. Health and beauty products. Supplements, health and beauty and all that, because hard goods, she can list quick and they sell quick. They do. So awesome. That. Okay, and now I have a pile of shoes. Shoes. This store is my shoe heaven. I'll tell you what, I'll get over here and I'll kind of line up the shoes Thank you, for you, that sounds good. Um, now, one thing, this store is not a store, the Goodwill, that we often go to. Um, it's a little bit further away. It's not a town that we go to that much. And there, this Goodwill is run by a different, uh, not company, but um, there, the different areas of Tennessee and Mississippi um, run their stores differently. And their prices are higher, and they don't have sales either. But for some reason, this store just has better stuff. Um, so the price per shoe on this stuff, whew, not my favorite, but they're really good brands. Now, if the prices on these shoes had been as low as a lot of the stores that have shopped at, I probably would have come home with 60 pair of shoes, no kidding. But I picked the best ones, I think. So, I have a Diane Von Furstenberg. It's going to be hard to see these with the camera so far away. but um, I could be the in-between. There you go. I didn't even know Diane von Furstenberg made shoes. Um, so I definitely thought these were worth a try. It's not anything that I've, I've done before, but I have a lot of luck with her dresses. And I usually sell her tops, maybe not for just a whole lot. but um, And they weren't priced too, too high. So I think I'll do okay on those. I got these Lucky Brand. There you go. Clogs. I think clogs are very in right now. They're really... Uh, add to that boho vintage vibe and they're black leather with studs so that was worth it I got a pair of fry sandals and I think yellow is gonna be a good color this season and they're leather um, not the most trendy style as far as not having a back or anything on it but I mean how can you pass up anything fry brand um, even if I don't make a ton of money, I'm sure I would bet that they'll sell. Okay, these are, I sold these before this brand in a shoe that wasn't as cute. So, this one is in awesome condition and they're super cute and, oh, they're awful close to my size. Tempting. Um, but again, with the, the bohemian style, um, I don't think I'll have any problem selling these. These are, say that name, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Slicka, vintage collection. I can do the vintage collection. All right. <laughs> All right. How about those? Tuck. Tuck. Took. Took. I'm not sure. Um, you see that? Took. Tuck. These are a size 11. You know what? This kind of goes with the whole Hello Thrifty. I mean, you got the little bows there. This is true. Now, it's not pink, but it's... I might. I don't, I don't think you could wear those. Be able to stand in these. <laughs> not going to walk in them. Walking, not so much. And they're a size 11. They're quite large. Oh yeah. And by the way, they look like brand new on the bottom. I mean, look at that. Yeah. They still have that little tag right here. I sold this brand before. Um, it's a rockabilly kind of style, or a um, you know funky lady who would like things from maybe like Torrid or Hot Topic would like those. Um, so I'm sure they'll sell. I'm not really sure how much, but I. I don't have a problem thinking that they're going to sell. Here's some Lucky Brand sandals, orange and brown. 
leather Another lucky brand wedges. And these, uh, I sell a lot of comfort shoes on eBay. And uh, I like the bling on those. And they're in good condition. A plume? Yeah, a plume. I wasn't real familiar with it, but as soon as I saw it, I was they like... kind of have these, I don't know, the I, I thought it was worth looking up. Looks like probably about $30, $35. Bottoms have a little bit of wear, but not much. Look pretty good. And here's another comfort shoe. And they're all leather, a size 43. So that might be another That's size. That's a very big foot. Yes. It's, it's, it's a European size. You're a what? European. <laughs> uh, Riker? Riker. Riker. I think. Riker Anti-Stress. R-E-K-E-R. -E -E kind of. But I looked those up and. A little medallion there. Probably kind of. look at it. Um, my, I've got a little loose thread here, so maybe more like 20 bucks now. But All right. These are Miranda Lambert cowboy boots. Yeehaw! I don't know about those. They didn't have them priced up real bad. They have a little bit of wear on the bottom, but pretty much it looks like they might have been worn. I mean, they need to be cleaned just a little bit. But, uh, but they sell they look pretty anywhere good. from like 25 on up to $70, so... Not sure what to expect. And, oh, not last. I have two more. Okay, these are Donald J. Pliner, and they're a very, very expensive brand shoe, but a lot of them are just not very current in their style. But, hey, show them that peace sign on yeah, the You got to check this out. Okay. Donald, whoever. Donald J. Pliner. <laughs> and if you notice, like, it looks like a zipper all the way around this mm -hmm. thing, and the zipper comes down to this very point, and it has a little... Peace symbol right there. You see that? Ain't that kind of cool? And it's, I don't know if you can see that that texture, but I don't know. They do look kind of neat. Yeah. So Donald J. Planner, like, I pretty much pick up anything by them if it's like $3 or less. At the prices that they were asking, which were more around the $8 mark, I actually left like three pair of Donald J. Planners behind. These I thought were really cool though. So we'll see how those go. And last but not least, I have some Uggs. You got some Uggs there? Summer Uggs. Yeah, that, and they look pretty good. And that'll be, it's a pretty little wraparound espadrille. It's an espadrille. Espadrille. Espadrille wedges. And uh, Ugg brand, and they're in great condition. There's a little bit, you know, a lot of times on these espadrilles, there'll be a little bit of yellow glue that seeps through for some reason. Almost, almost every, it's not That's almost, not bad. No, it's not at all. But I just feel like I need to, need to mention it. Um, but yeah, these are really, I don't see it now. I saw it That's just on this one. Okay. Just a little bit. It's just there, barely. I mean, you can't already tell. So, anyway, I, I got some high end, higher end, not super high end, but this is good stuff. So, um, do you know what, do you have a guesstimate total? Okay, this is not like written out and thought through. Um, my average cost was $6.11 per item. And I know that we have a couple of things that'll sell for about 60 And we have a whole bunch of stuff that'll sell for about 30 Is that 42 items? 42 items. 42 items. Um... I think most of it will sell for at least 20 so let's average $30 per piece. That I might be a little generous. Out. Okay, so $30 times 42. So... 1260 1260 and we spent... 260 two, two, Or was it 240 240 Yeah, yeah 240. 240 So uh, then you got your, your fees, fees and stuff like that, so maybe $800 profit? It's mm -hmm. a good date night. Awesome date night. It'll pay night. for our dinner, that's for sure. <laughs> that's right. We didn't have that fancy of a dinner. Maybe I could even keep this. Um, you can keep it until it sells, babe. <laughs> that's how most things go. <laughs> well, Thanks my, for watching. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow and is the happiest day of the year. Yes. Yes, tomorrow. And we'll make a different video we for tomorrow. We'll be vlogging. Uh, tomorrow is the yearly rummage cell that uh, Methodist Church has in the town about 40 minutes uh, north of us. It's my official kickoff to yard sale season. Yes. It is a massive, huge 
rummage sale. They fill up this whole gym with tons and tons of table, and people get there about an hour early, standing in line, ready That's to get cold. in. Uh, but we always usually rake up and find some good stuff there. So we're looking forward to uh, well, going there and seeing where we're at. She goes her way, I go my way, and we meet up in the middle and see how we do. I've got my fingers crossed for purses and jewelry. And then I go to all the electronics and kind of look at the electronics. They have a whole wall full of electronics and then look at some different like vintage items, stuff like that. And then they have knickknack tables that they, you can no always clothes. find some different things. So. Uh, do what? No clothes. Yeah, no, no new clothes. It's all hard goods, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, we're looking forward to that. And then uh, once we finish there, we'll probably go. Well, my honey hole is putting out their spring yes. clothes tomorrow. Which is another an hour, town. Hour going, yeah, to Memphis. So, yeah, so then I've another got us hour away. Around. We're doing a sourcing weekend. It's it's our date night weekend, whatever. He's very uh, so. good to me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is one thing that we plan almost every year to go to, and uh, we enjoy doing this kind of stuff together. It's fun, mm -hmm. and we get to figure out and look at the neat, cool things that we find and uh, see uh, who one-ups the other. So uh, usually at the hard good stuff, I can find some decent yes, stuff. Yes, he's very so, good at hard goods. Uh, mm -hmm. She's awesome when it comes to the clothes. and so. But anyway, we're looking forward to that. So if you would, if you like the video, thumbs up, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.